Constance Wu is sharing her story in a Vanity Fair exclusive excerpt of her new book of essays titled Making a Scene. The Crazy Rich Asian star talks for the first time about being raped in the beginning of her career. In the extract, Wu recalls being assaulted by an aspiring novelist while on their second date. She writes about being invited to go over to his place saying, I felt a twinge of warning in my gut, but I ignored it. He didn't look threatening or shady in any way. And if you had been there, you would have agreed. After the pair began to get intimate, Wu says she had asked for them to stop, but he continued and she didn't resist. She explains, some people might say that I should have fought back, but if I could go back in time, I wouldn't change how I reacted that night because when I think about the girl I was back then, I understand what she was going through. Wu adds that she wasn't yet ready to bear the insults and derision that follow when women make scenes. She goes on to write that she had buried the incident and started to quote, find success in my acting career, giving me a front row seat to Hollywood's latent sexism and misogyny. That all changed, however, when she was returning from filming 2018's Crazy Rich Asians. She writes, I'd just woken up from a nap when the realization hit me like a flood. He raped me and I hadn't done anything about it. Earlier this month, Wu revealed that she had faced sexual harassment and intimidation on the set of ABC's Fresh Off the Boat by one of the show's producers. Though she was uncomfortable with the situation, the actress said that she did not come forward with the story at the time in order to protect the show and its impact on the Asian American community. However, she told The Atlantic that once the show became a success for the network, she felt a sense of confidence to say no to the unidentified producer and explaining, quote, I was no longer scared of losing my job. She added, that's when I was able to start saying no to the harassment, no to the intimidation. But according to Wu, that didn't necessarily solve things. She noted, the thing is, bad feelings don't go away just because you will them to. They're inevitably going to come out somewhere.